And welcome back everybody to a new workout brought to you by MJKO and Shape Your Life. I'm Coach Jimmy and today we're going to be doing a nice calisthenics home workout. So no boxing today. Calisthenics means some body weight exercises. So all these exercises uh, can be performed with no extra equipment or weights or resistance or anything like that. I will be using some equipment for myself to challenge myself. If you yourself have some equipment at home, feel free to use it at your own discretion. But of course, it's totally optional. All these exercises can be performed without anything extra. All right, so before we start though, make sure I have some nice comfortable clothing to work out in, a mat if you have one, uh, and most importantly, some water. How's it going, Sebastian, on Instagram? We're just getting warmed up. All right, so remember to pace yourself, all right? Everybody's at different fitness levels. So if you need to slow down, don't be free to slow down. Now, I encourage everybody to try every exercise, but if you're not comfortable with a certain exercise, don't be afraid to skip it, okay? That being said, let's go ahead and get started with a nice and easy warm-up. What's happening, Tristan? Tristan, I believe you're on 6 p.m. later tonight with Ibrahim, all right? All right, but anyways, we get warmed up. We're gonna start nice and easy, leg swings, 10 each leg, okay? So leg swings like this, swinging one leg back and forth, all right? Ready for 10 and go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, let's go ahead, turn around, do our other leg. And same thing again for 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work, good work. Woo. Okay, shake it off. Next one, let's stretch out our hamstring. All right, so. Let me adjust this camera down so I can see my feet a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I have three cameras set up. All right, so we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. We're gonna just put one leg forward and it is straight. We're gonna swoop down like that. All right, so again, from my side view, one leg forward, heel on the ground, keep your legs straight. And just gonna swoop down just like that, okay? So we're gonna alternate, right? Five each leg, total of 10. Ready and go. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, good job. All right, next one we're gonna do some knee hugs, okay? So knee hugs alternate each time, all right? 10 total, that means five each leg, okay? So we're just gonna bring our knee up and then hug it in towards our chest. I do apologize if the camera is not focusing very well. So let me adjust it. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go with knee hugs for 10 and go and that's one, good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work, good work. All right, next, nice and easy, knees up, just nice and easy jogging on the spot, okay? So just like this, knees up, jogging on the spot for 10 seconds, ready, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. Next one, butt kicks, running on the spot for 10 seconds, ready, and go. And 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good 
Good job, good job. Okay, next one, let's do arm circles. I'm going to use a band to do arm circles. Where is my band? Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my band nice and wide. If you have a band as well, you can follow along with me. You grab it nice and wide, so it's nice and easy to start. Or if you have a broomstick, you can grab a broomstick nice and wide to start. If you don't have either, just go ahead and follow along with your arms, all right? Nice and straight, keeping your arms. All right, so we're just gonna go all the way back, all the way in front, keeping your arms straight. All the way back, all the way in front, okay? So if this is pretty easy, let's go about five times. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Now that's pretty easy. Let's go a little bit closer. So the closer your hands go, all right, I'm gonna go about an inch closer on both sides, the harder it is to keep your arms straight and you'll feel the stretch in your arms and in your shoulders and your pecs, okay? And just like this. Ooh, that's a little bit harder, so a little bit twice. Okay, so that's one, two. All right, good job. So our shoulder joints are a little bit warmed up now. All right, now I'm going to do some band pull aparts. All right, so if you don't have bands, just go ahead and simulate, follow along with me without your band. Same arm motions, okay? So band pull apart just adds a little bit of outward resistance as we're pulling it apart, okay? Ready, so a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? Just pull it apart and then bring it back nice and slow. Pull apart. Let's go for 10. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, we're going to off to one side. All right, let's warm up our neck. Look up and down for 10. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's look left and right for ten and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Next. Nice. Our arm circles forward for 10 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And back and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. All right, arms out side to side for 10 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Next one. Spread your feet nice and wide. Do some trunk twists and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay. Next. Nice and easy. Trunk twist, touching our toes. So all we're gonna do, keep your legs nice and wide, all right? Mm -hmm. Slightly bend at the hips, and then trunk twist, touching your toes just like this, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, okay. Next, we're gonna do some nice and easy squats. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Five deep squats. All right, I'm gonna keep it at the bottom. Okay, so nice and easy. Feet ball shoulder width apart. We're gonna go nice and slow and hold it at the bottom for a split second, warming up our ankles and our knees, okay? So nice and slow, going for five, okay? So there's one, I'm gonna really lean over my ankles on both sides just to get them warmed up and flexible. All right, good, okay. That's it. 
Good. And again, I'm going to lean over both of my ankles, both my toes. But the whole time, keeping my feet flat on the ground. Just warming up my ankle mobility. Good. That's two. Good. Three. I have tight ankles, so I'd like to warm up my ankles like that. If you have tight hips, I'll show you to warm up your hips. So you stay at the bottom again. Just push out your knees with your elbows just like that to open up your hips. All right. So you oscillate open and close just like this because, you, again, for warming up, you don't really want to hold any static stretches. Okay. Dynamic stretches. All right. Warm up your hips, your ankles. And let's do one more. Nice and slow and good job okay so calisthenics home workout today how's it going on instagram we're just finishing our warm-up quickly get some water and we're going to move on to the main portion of our workout next we're going to be doing <clears throat> three different exercises today first one all right the classic squat i believe the squat is the king of all leg exercises so that's why i like doing squats Next one is good morning. All right, good morning. We've done it, but not too often. All right, so uh, I'll demonstrate that as well. And the push-up. All right, push-up support is very good for boxers, right? Pushing up on the ground. So I'll demonstrate without any equipment. All right. So the squat, feet about shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out. All right. Your Feet should be flat on the ground the entire time, okay? Just like this, sit back in that chair and then back up, okay? From a side view. All right, so same thing from a side view. Keep your back straight and then back up. Okay, stay nice and balanced and you got it. All right, so you don't have to go as low as me in a squat, right? If you only go to about 90 degrees, that's fine. I don't have to go all the way down, totally up to you. Good morning, all right, works our posterior chain. So posterior chain means our lumbar spine, our glutes, our hamstrings is where the emphasis is on this exercise, okay? So a lot of people, uh, they don't really train the posterior chain as much as their other muscle groups, all right? But training posterior chain, really good for boxing. All right, a lot of boxers, they may have some lumbar spine uh, injuries, all right? Because as you know, in boxing, it's a lot of twisting and turning, which is a lot of core work. Right, your core means your whole midsection. A lot of people, they train their abs and obliques, but they neglect their lumbar spine, which is also part of your core, core strength. Okay, so again, good mornings, all right? With no weights, here's how to do it. You stand up straight, about shoulder width apart or slightly in, okay? You can have a slight bend in your knee, all right, if you want, all right, you can keep your torso straight throughout the whole motion, okay? So it's gonna look like this. You're just slightly bending your knees, sending your hips back, and then your chest, your torso remains straight. And then you, you go back up, okay? As you go down, remember, send your hips back slightly, and then back up, okay? So that is the good morning. And then last but not least, hopefully everybody knows the push-up. All right, I'll demonstrate it. So regular push-up just like this, all right, if that's a little bit too difficult, you can go modified push-ups, which will be on your knees. If you're going on your knees, though, you gotta keep your body straight, just like that. The main mistake people make when they're on their knees is they don't have their hips straight with the body, okay? Sometimes you do go like this, right? You gotta keep your hips straight with your body when you're doing modified push-ups on your knees. All right, so those are the three exercises. You guys know what to do. I'll explain how we're going to do them. We're going to do three sets of squats. Okay, so three sets of 10 squats, three sets of 10 good mornings, and then three sets of 10 push ups. All right, but we're going to do a nice and easy, a few warm up reps before we get into those working sets. Okay, so for right now, we're just for squats. So let's do a few warm up reps just to prime our movements, make sure we got it down correctly. All right, so nice and easy. At your own tempo, let's go for five, okay? And one, two, 
three, four, and five. Good jump. Oh, okay. Now that we're nice and warmed up, we did our one warm up set for the squat. Let's go ahead and put on my vest. So again, if you do have weights or resistance at home, you can go ahead and use it at your own discretion. But again, totally optional. Like I demonstrated, all these exercises can be performed without any extra equipment. All right, let's go. Our first working set of 10 squats. Ready and go. And one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, ready. Take a quick breather, 45 seconds, get some water, catch your breath. Good work. So, like I said in the beginning of the workout, all right, you don't need to use any weights like me. Totally optional. If you do have weights, you can use it at your own discretion. But most importantly, is maintaining that correct form. All right, good technique beats everything else. All right, maintain good technique over everything else. Ready. Alright, second set. Second working set of good mornings. So remember, feet about shoulder width apart. Alright, depending on your, your own body's makeup. Some people like it wider, some people like it closer in. Doesn't matter. Alright, I like it about shoulder width apart. Toes slightly pointed out. Alright, now sit back in that chair. Okay, keep your torso straight. Ready, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Ah, good job. Second set done. Okay, so the reason why we'd like to do uh, calisthenics is they are very good supplementary exercises that help build lean muscle that will help aid in our athletic performance. All right. So in boxing, it's, calisthenics exercises is more preferred than classic uh, weight lifting exercises, right? <sighs> okay. So squat, of course it helps our, our legs, sorry, our lower body, all right? A lot, you'll notice a lot of the emphasis for the squat is mainly in your quad muscles and your glutes, a little bit in your hamstrings as well. That's why we do our good mornings in a little bit, just to uh, even it out, make sure we're getting good work in our lumbar spine, our glutes, our hamstrings, and everywhere in our lower body. And then we do push-ups last. All right, last set of squats. Ready, and go. And that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Good work. All right, so we're done our three sets of our squats. Let's go ahead and get some water, get a short break. Next one, moving on to our good mornings. All right, so good mornings. Take it nice and slow, all right? So you don't want to go like fast, okay? Take it nice and slow. Make sure you're getting that stretch in the hamstring. All right, keeping a slight bend in your knees. Most importantly, your torso is straight. All right, so remember, slight bend in, in that knees. Send your hips back, torso straight. Okay, and then once you're ready to come back up, squeeze your glutes and stand it back up, okay? Working our posterior chain, go nice and slow, just like that. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes, okay? Depending on your own flexibility, some people can go lower than others, All right, so if you're flexible and you can maintain good technique, right, meaning your torso is straight, then go ahead and go lower. Most people, they don't have good flexibility like myself. <coughs> oh, bless me. I do not have good flexibility, so as you can see, I don't really go that low. All right. So only go to where you are able. Ready. So first one, just nice and easy. Let's do five warm up reps just to prime our body for the movement okay so again just five reps nice and easy nice and slow just like this all right side bending your knees send your hips back torso is straight and then stand it back up squeezing those glutes nice and slow on the way down and then back it up squeezing those glutes all right this is number three Four, one more, and five. Good job. Okay, so just like that. All right. Hopefully everyone's body is primed and ready for the movement. Now we're gonna do three working sets, ten reps each. Okay. So let's get right to it. Ten. Good mornings together. Ready. And go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and ten good work so first one done Whew. really get some water get your breath Whew. quick 45 seconds rest before we move on ah so regardless of if you're using any equipment or weights like me all right, you should be able to feel the stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Remember your hamstrings and your glutes, all right? This is where you feel the stretch on the way down. As you come up, squeeze those glutes and send it up straight, okay? So ready, let's get to it. Second set now, all right? I'll give this a different view. Ready, good mornings for 10. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten. Good job. Whew. All right. Get some water. 
I'll take a quick breather. Calisthenics exercise is very good for athletic performance. <sighs> Obviously, if you're a beginner, start off with just your own body weight, just like I demonstrated. And as you go along, as you get stronger, you can add resistance and weights. All right, if you want. If uh, anyone watches any boxing, if you look at like Anthony Joshua, he has very uh, muscular physique for a boxer. He does a little bit of weight training and resistance training, that type of stuff. If you look at uh, Kenel Alvarez, probably the pound for pound uh, best boxer right now, as of April 2021. He also does a lot of calisthenics exercises like squats, but he likes to use um, a lot of weights for his squats. He squats with a barbell and probably about like 250 pounds. He's a very strong boxer, all right? As they say, the power comes from the legs, right? From the ground up is where the power comes from. <sighs> okay, so let's get it. Our last set of good mornings together. Three, two, one, and go. And that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good job. All right, we can go ahead and take this off. Let's get ready for push ups next. I will be using some dumbbells to uh, act as push-up stands. All right, so if you ever see push-up stands, there's a foam on the ground, it's just a bar that you grab with your hands on the ground, just like this. All right, I like to use uh, push-up stands or dumbbells as push-up stands because it keeps your wrist straight when you're doing your push-up. All right, regular push-ups, your hand is flat on the ground and you see your wrist is bent. Some people uh, have wrist issues, so using a push-up stand really helps, okay? But again, totally optional, not 100% necessary. So, again, regular push-up, just like this, right? Okay, if that's a little bit too difficult, you can go on your knees, just like that. Remember, when you're on your knees, keep your hips straight, one straight line with your torso, okay? All right, so again, three sets of 10. I'm going to go ahead and use some resistance band just to add some resistance to my push-ups and make it that much more difficult. So this is a 25 to 40 pound resistance band, right? At the lowest point, it simulates 25 pounds and then at the most stretched out point, it simulates 40 pounds, right? So as you push up, it gets harder, all right? This type of uh, explosive push-up Right? It's actually really beneficial for boxing because it teaches us to push against the resistance. So, you know, in theory, we should get faster and stronger. All right, let's go. First set of 10. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I have overestimated how difficult that was, but no worries. I have an easier band. This red one that I used earlier in the warm up simulates 5 to 15 pounds. Whew. So, again, three sets of 10. We're about 45 seconds rest in between. All right, if you have resistance band at home like me, you can feel free to use them. Right, how you use them is you wrap them around the palm of your hands and around your back so that as you push up it gets more difficult giving you that explosive power 
All right. Okay, let's get a second set of push-ups. I like to use push-up stands. Let's keep my wrist straight and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Go ahead. Get a quick water break. Get some water. Catch a breather. All right, I'll demonstrate this last set coming up without any extra equipment. So use yourself at home. You can feel comfortable doing it with no equipment. All right, so remember main thing when you're doing a your push-up, keep your torso and your legs in one straight line, right? And your hands right underneath your shoulders, okay? You don't want your hands in front of your shoulders. See, my shoulders are not under my, on top of my hands. All right, so just like this. My hands right underneath my shoulders. Ready, final 10, and then let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, that was a good workout. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for a cool down next. We're gonna focus a lot on stretching our muscles that we just worked out. Moving on, let's do some stretching. All right, first stretch, let's do a cross body stretch. Cross one arm in front of your body. Other arm brings it closer, as close as it can. Hold it for 10 and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Switch it, other arm now, and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, next one, let's go one leg straight at a time. Stretch it out, keep it straight. All right, other ones just bent and relax. Reach for your toe, keep your legs straight for 10, ready, and reach. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, hello on Facebook. Drop a comment, let me know who you are. Facebook doesn't tell me who's watching unless you send me a comment and then I can see your name. All right, but we're just finishing up our workout. Almost finished. Same thing on the other leg. Reach for a furry toe. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, okay, next we're gonna stretch our hips. All right, butterfly stretch. Okay, so make sure your feet are together. All right, with your hands, grab your ankles, pull them in close towards your hips. All right, not too close. And then with your elbows, push your knees down and hold it. As soon as you push your knees down, you'll feel the stretch. All right, we're gonna hold it for 10, ready? And go, and 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and turn it over. Let's do our cat and cow. Yes, cat and cow. All right. I'm going to switch back and forth between cat and cow. Five seconds each. Okay, I'm going to do it multiple times. All right, let's go. So cow would be belly button down like this and cat 
with the belly button, belly button up, just like that, okay? Whew. Ready, starting with the cow. Five, four, three, two, one, cat. Five, four, three, two, one, cow. Five, four, three, two, one, cat. Five, four, three, two, one, cow. Five, four, three, two, one, cat. Five, four, three, two, one, cow. Last time each. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one for cat now. And five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay. Excuse me, my mat's just a little bit dirty. All right, next, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our child's pose stretch. Okay, so, arms in front, all you're gonna do is sink your hips down and back in between your feet, just like this. All right, really stretching that lumbar spine, arms in front, stretching those lats, and then just lay down here for 15, and then we are done. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And time. Alrighty. So that concludes our calisthenics home workout for today. Thank you everybody for joining me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.